So oh, back in the 80s, uh, I used to wear this hat all the time. This hat came off a fence post on Highway 11. I was driving up Highway 11, I saw this hat on a fence post, and one of my great uh, mentors, I guess you'd say, was David Whiffen. He, he had a hat like this on Coast to Coast Fever above that record. So that's the first hat there, and then Stevie Ray Vaughan came along wearing this hat, and so I stopped wearing that hat pretty much, uh, you know, because everybody said that, uh, you know, you look a lot like Stevie Ray Vaughan there. But uh, of course, I don't play or sing like him. But this hat here, somebody gave this to me for St. Patty's Day show. And uh, I love this hat. It's a beauty. That's a very nice, that's a very nice style hat. You know, with the right uh, suit. This hat here, no, that's, that's just a great sort of a summer hat that I really like. You know, that's a nice yard work hat. This hat's really great right here. I got this hat for Lawrence Frackman's wedding. So I wore that because we were playing at his wedding and we had to sit out in the sun. So this was a good kind of hat. I bought it down uh, in Peterborough, right on the main street there at uh, one of the men's shops there. And I dickered with the guy in there to get him down a price on it a bit. And love this hat. It's really great. It's got this inner kind of sun thing, you know, to protect you from the sun. Really great hat. This is the one that I love to wear all the time. It's a, it's a great kind of a pork pie style hat. Beautiful hat. And uh, I think I put that hat band on it at some point, but I can't remember exactly where that came from. That was cool. This hat band uh, came from Donna Conserato. Uh, she lives on Vancouver Island and she's a leather worker. And she's, uh, she's a lovely lady. Cowgirl. She's from uh, cowboy country. Uh, she lives in. The, she grew up in the foothills of Alberta. And she makes. She does beautiful leather work. That's a great hat. That hat I got on Slanted Road at a yard sale. I stopped into a yard sale at the farm just over here on Slanted Road, and that hat was. It was absolutely filthy, dirty, and I was like, it was so full of farmers. What I, I didn't know if I even wanted to try it on, but I, I tried it on. It fit me perfect, and I, and I asked uh, the lady there, I says, well, how much do you want for that hat? She says, oh, 25, and I thought, wow, 25 bucks, that's not quite a bit, but no, it was 25 cents. So, you know, that that's a great hat for 25 cents. You know, it was filthy dirty, so I took it down to the Hatter on, uh, where is that? That's on, uh, is it Bayview or Avenue Road? I think it's Avenue Road. It might be Baby Avenue Road. Avenue Road before you drop down the hill there. And uh, every time I go in there, the old couple that own the place, they always try and, and sell you a hat. If you take a hat in to get it clean, they're going to say, well, you know, you look good in this hat. Try this hat on. So I said, you know, some of the hats are pretty expensive. But nonetheless, they cleaned this hat for me. I think it cost uh, 40 bucks to get it cleaned and blocked. And I wanted that kind of flat top, you know, uh, little Joe Cartwright look, you know, that, uh, remember little Joe Cartwright? And Haas Cartwright, you know, Bonanza. I wanted that little Joe Cartwright look, you know, because I think he was a left-handed gunslinger, so I'm left-handed, so, you know, not that I'm a gunslinger, but uh, I always loved little Joe Cartwright. Anyway, um, this hat here, this is a nice hat. Love this hat. I got this hat because my brother had a hat like this, and I thought, that is a cool hat, and so I saw one like that, and thought, you know, if he's got one, you know, maybe I'll, I'll get one of those too. So, uh, that's why I got this hat, and it just came from a store, you know. I can't remember where I got it. Now, the hat that I wear all the time, that you see me with a lot, I'm not sure where it is here. Uh, let me look for it. I think it's out in the other room here. That's a mystery, but I think that's enough on the hats. But that, this one here is the one that I wear a lot at gigs. It's a nice hat, you know. 
that black hat was really hot under the stage lighting. And uh, I don't know. If you see, you know, when I'm not wearing a hat, you can see, you know, I'm losing my hair pretty good. And, uh, you know, my dad had a full head of hair rape all his life, and my brothers too. I think my one brother's starting to lose his hair in the same spot. You know, he's got the, uh, the uh, bald patch on the back, what uh, my mother used to refer to as the monkey's ass, right? But uh, that's the hat thing. And, you know, some people say if you wear a hat, it makes you go bald, but I think that's just, you know, folk tale. But uh, there you go. There's my hat thing.